Welcome back to another video. I prepared the following scene. So we have the McLaren mesh over here. I imported the hood separately and I have prepared a sketch over here in order to highlight the functionality of projection curve within Shape Sculptor. So before we get started, let's see what we can do with project curve. As you can see, this will project a curve onto a polygonal mesh. In order to do that, we need to select the curves and then the polygonal mesh to be projected onto. And we have three methods, view direction, closest point and compass direction. So to get started, I will select the mesh of the hood, which is this one. I will hold down control, select the sketch where I added Two splines and afterwards if i will go to project curve you're gonna see that the first option will be view therefore according to the view view scene position so if i will just click apply like this you're gonna see that if i will move the mouse i will see the projected curve over there now in order to position everything onto the hood i need to position the view something like this afterwards hit apply and now we're gonna see how that 3d curve will be positioned over there keep in mind that all of these are editable therefore this is one of the main advantage if i can just double click over here on sketch this is a planar sketch but as we can see we can just manipulate the vortices in order to change the overall shape of um, of the curve afterwards if i will just clear that so i will exit again if i will go to project curve if i only have this selected and not the mesh we're gonna see that the apply button will not be enabled but i can just hold down control add the mesh over here and we're gonna see how the apply function will activate and we can just have that applied we can also change this to be according to the compass so keep in mind that this will work according to the compass on the right side if i will hit apply like this we're gonna see how the projection will be slightly moved from the previous one from the view but again in this case this will project very good according to the z axis that we have over here on the compass we can also use the normal but if you make use of the normal we're gonna see that the spline will be heavily deformed so we see over here that uh, this shape will be no longer so smooth therefore the best option is to use the compass now i double click by mistake over here and we see the projected curve will be this one. I will just hide that for now. And I will reactivate the project curve. Keep in mind that we can only select, uh, for example, the D over here. Afterwards, the mesh. Use the compass. And even though I only selected that section of the sketch, the whole sketch will be, will be projected. So if you want to only isolate certain section it is highly recommended that you use individual sketches for those okay so let's take a look at how i set up this scene so within blender we can make use of blender kit which is available for free and over here i can just type in um, the card that i want for example uh, i will type in mclaren we need to be within the fine model section if this widget will not automatically update we need to go to the material search over here for something and afterwards go back and we're gonna see <clears throat> how that filter updated and we see a wide variety of cars that are um, available for use so we see over here um, 720 spider and this is the case study car that uh, that i use So keep that in mind that if you just want to make use of a wide variety of models, the ones that don't have a lock are available within the free version. So for example, if I would want to add this car, I can just hold it, drag and drop it. 
Now, depending on the computer specifications, in some cases, it will lock down like this. This is because I had it set to enable um, those um, materials in real time. So let me just start Blender again. If I would try this uh, on my other computer, it will work. But over here we have the shading, viewport shading, and um, we also have the one with material. So let me just search for that color again. <clears throat> and I will drag and drop. This one was the one that bugged previously. So as we can see, we can just drag and drop it. It will start download. And um, I still have several um, elements to download. And now we have it in the viewport. And this is the other card that I prepared for this. Again, if I will drag and drop this, position it, Blender will start downloading this using the Blender Kit add-on. And we have both cards enabled. Previously, this bugged because if I activate the viewport uh, shading, this will enable the texture. So we have this one texture that I had previously. We see that the loading time for this was faster since it was already preloaded within my previous scene and now for the other card the materials are slowly loading in so we see some of the interior elements i will just select the chair afterwards i will press period on the numpad that will frame the camera closer and as we can see now the materials are slowly loading if i try to rotate while those are still loading it will take a little bit of time to process. Therefore, I will wait several um, seconds in order to have all those loaded. So we have the, the glass, we have the interior of the car. There are still some elements that are within gray that need to be loaded. And we see that now we have everything loaded. And we see also that um, we have those two, those two screens over there. So how did I set up the scene with Katia? Initially, I only selected um, these three elements over here. And afterwards, I, will, I went to File, Export, STL. I went on the desktop and I call this food. I will just call this food 2. Over here, it is important to check se selection only. Otherwise, Blender will take all the geometry within the scene. And with selection only, we only take those uh, three front elements from the front of the car, have that exported. Afterwards, if I want to export the whole car over here, I can just select those three elements, press uh, H in order to hide them. And I'll do a rectangle selection to grab everything over here. Even though we have the car rig selected that will not be saved as um, stl because stl will only take the geometry of the car so if i will go to file export stl again and i will just call this uh, car i will leave the two keep selection only the scale will be set to one and hit export and now within katia i will just create a new a new part this case study, we don't need an assembly, so we can just go with the part. I will leave the hybrid design enabled, and this will be the blank scene. I will also enable the planes because I have the axis system added, and within the options, I have those planes set to be hidden by default. Now, within Shape Sculptor, go to Import, and initially, I will just import, for example, the car which I know that will be car 2 over here. So have that imported. We see the scale factor. This is set to 1000. And we see that what is also important when you are bringing elements from Blender to Katia, we see the position of the car is over here and we have the origin set over here. This will be matching from the Blender scene where we had the origin over there and we have the car over here. So if you want to better center your mesh, you can just select the car. You can press G for grab and have it position close to the, um, 
origin. And you can also position it on the x-axis. So that will be, let's say, better aligned. So you no longer have to align this with the compass. But in this case, this isn't a problem. I will also want to add the hood over here. So go to import. You're going to bring the hood. You're going to see that it will perfectly match the alignment from Blender. And now we're going to have two point clouds over here that are already meshed. So we have that mesh as well. I will just change the color for this one to be gray. And uh, for example, for the car, if I want to change the color, I can go over here for more colors. And we have the possibility to make it, for example, green like this. Now, in order to have a sketch that we can uh, project, I will go from the X and Y plane, define a new plane. I will go to 1000 and we're going to see that this will be over the, um, the hood. Click OK. And I will just swap to a different workbench, for example, generative shape design. We can also go with impart design. And I will select plane one, go to sketch. And over here, I will um, frame the hood of the car. And using the spline tool, I can start um, sketch something over here. So I will do something similar to the video that, um, to the scene that was presented when I started this. So something like a tree over here. You can also make use of the offset if you want to, let's say, preserve the same uh, ratio between those. But for this case study, I will leave it like this. So we have the tree over here. And afterwards, I will also add a second spline. So I will make this as a D from 3D. And at the top, we have the possibility to close that loop. Afterwards, we can change the position of the splines by adjusting the, the control points. We see over here that we have that coincidence. We can delete that in order to move them uh, freely. We can also add additional points. If you want to, you can just um, add those over here on the spline. You can add an additional control point. But in this case, I will leave it like this. So we have that position. And now, if I will go back to Shape Sculptor, I can enable the Project 3D, select the mesh, hold down control, select the sketch as well. And if you're going to use the compass, we see that the Z axis will be positioned like that. We're going to hit apply. You're going to have that sketch projected to the mesh. Okay, so I hope that you find this video useful. I will position a similar video over here on the left. I will add this to Katia V5 tips and tricks on the top right, and I will also add a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.